Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? Gonna be doing a little bit of a hybrid build with RDO Jungle here, but I really want to talk about the start of this game. I wasn't paying too much attention. You always want to be in bear stance at the start of the game, specifically because it just does more damage, and you want that cooldown to be quicker than your druid form one. So yeah, I already made a mistake here, but I wasn't paying too much attention. I really wanted Osiris to start off at blue, so that way I could just early clear and get to mid quicker. So that way we could put more pressure, but sometimes the plans don't work. We still end up getting mid pressure here, which is nice. Okay, we should be able to clear these quickly. And I have my bear abilities up right now. You better believe I'm blinking. Ardeo's early game pressure is insane. They should never be fighting this. <laughs> But yeah, it, the build might look weird right off the start. I was testing something out. I just think Bancroft's is incredibly busted, especially on Ardeo. I just think the item is slept on. It can give you 200 magical power, and it can also give a crap ton of lifesteal. So on a god like Ardeo, where you're spamming a bunch of your abilities, you can be at very low HP when you're using that bear stance one, and it can do a bunch of damage. Like, hopefully this game will show you guys how good it can be. Really, I'm just trying to farm up for full boots at this point. I noticed that I wasn't going to be able to get over to that blue, so that was a mistake in pathing by me. If the Osiris would have cleared the next wave and then went to blue, I would have been able to do it, but it doesn't really matter. In the end, we end up getting more farm by uh, doing this, so I'm actually kind of glad they did that. Okay, I don't have enough mana to kill her, or do I? I really could have, man. <laughs> Huge mistake by me. I think she would have died uh, if I wouldn't have swapped to Druid Stance. That is totally troll by me, but... You know, I was a little rusty with Ardeo. Here I'm trying to invade their blue. Bologna's looking really healthy in the solo lane, so this is just guaranteed. Also, it can irritate solo laners. Now I'm going to try to go in for a gank. Just good disengage. I could have blinked, and we might have been able to chase her down. Definitely a potential there, but... Okay, that was... Bad timing for me to use Druid Stance 2. It does cripple, and Uller's jump was on cooldown. That was almost really close. Um, his jump was definitely coming off cooldown, and I should have used the Druid Stance 2 a little bit later. Alright, we're trying to make a rotation mid. Man, my aim was terrible there. But hey, we get the free kill on hell. That guy was just way out of position. I end up backing, now I have enough for full Bancrofts. And we're trying to gank Uller again. Capitals is a great player. I actually added him a couple days ago. He's just consistently good. Just look at that damage with Bancrofts, man. Oh my god, it's actually so good. We're not done yet. Look at that heal. The AoE, it's nasty, man. We're out here destroying health bars. That's very unlucky. All that I would have needed to do to avoid that is use my second ability before blinking in and I get that kill on hell, but our team ended up getting it anyway, and I can use it right now. So, we end up picking up Sobek. That was huge. You know, I would say that I like RDO support or solo over RDO jungle, but I still think that it's a fun time.
Just look at that. We're six and zero. A force to be reckoned with at this point. Important thing to know: your two and druid stance does reduce uh, power, so you can use it on gods that don't have jumps or escapes just to reduce their damage done. If Bologna would have flicked to the left, that would have been a good play by her, but I just followed her down with the rest of my three there. Just good timing. Our on her is getting wrecked. I'm like, yeah, I'm 7-0. I got Stone of Binding online. That can be a really good early game item. Luckily, the Axe Phantom hit there. I think I should have started off the fight in Bear Stance, just so that way I would have been able to get more healing. Man, that freaking sucks. Right here, I should have tooed instantly swapped back to Druid Stance and just started throwing. Sobek was most likely going to kill me. My only chance was just to try to do damage. It was a little bit of panic by me. Speaking of panic, Osiris drops the kill and he gets ulted. Things are not looking good, but we're back in it. <laughs> I do have Cursed Ankh as my second relic. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but none of my team was going to get it, I figured, and I just didn't feel like asking him, so I just got it myself. Oh, that was a sweet Vulcan ult. Whew, we're chunking. I also could have canceled that dash, but I was kind of in fear for my life. So I channeled it a little bit longer than what I needed to. Okay, Hell's coming back mid. I'm just trying to get some tower pressure. None of the greater scorpions are done. I decide to try to chip out Hell here. I'm getting pinched though. Unlucky man, Bologna TP's in. Rough. Osiris was over and right splitting, which is fine. Okay, now we have Spirit Desso. We're just trying to get right into the action here. Cut out the BS. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think going full damage RDO can be really troll. Uh, just with the nature of her kit, you always want to be diving, uh, whether it be backline or just shredding tanks protections, which just means that you need to be in danger. You really can't be playing from far back. So uh, I personally just like more bruiserish builds. And uh, this game, I went a unique item though. I went uh, Winged Blade just because it's good to get out of Sobek ult. It also helps for Bologna's one and Sobek's uh, ult, like I said, sorry, and Hell's two this game. So multiple ways for it to proc, and it can get you out of sticky situations. I don't see the item being built too much, so I figured why not try it out, and we got it. Uh, that's pretty unlucky. I could have tried to steal that. Yeah, that was a... I mean, I did, but that was a bad attempt. I'm running away. 
I actually really think if I would have just kept running, I would have lived. But we ended up picking up Uller anyway. My team gets FG. I still don't have Boomba's hammer. I kind of wanted to show that. Just yoinking the buff. Also, winged blade coming in handy there, but... Really, I could have 1v1'd that Bologna if I wanted to, but I just didn't know where the enemy team was, so... That was super troll. It happens, but I don't know. That guy might have wanted the game to be over. That is the risky part of getting cursed on and blank is you don't have beads into Naja, and I am definitely not the tankiest person on my team right now. But uh, I did it for the team. Just look at that damage, man. If Hell wouldn't have Aegis, she would have died 100% there. That's really just a must. If you ever see a Hell, a Afro, or even a Chun guy in your game, Cursed Ankh is just really strong. And it can make it to where you win team fights just by popping that active. Also, Vimana. There goes another death, feels bad. Yeah, Vimana is a must for getting Cursed Ankh and trying to upgrade that as soon as team fights start happening, because he gets blown up if you pop a Cursed Ankh upgrade on him when he's ulting. My team almost didn't end the game. <laughs> that was looking kind of rough there, but... I hope you guys enjoy the montage coming up. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you there. Peace. Jimmy at Woodstock Me, uh, Drumming around in your red fort Shivers down my spine